Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a boxy charm unboxing for the month of February. I am so excited for this box this month. If you are new to BoxyCharm, it is a makeup subscription box. After tax, it leads to about $30 a month, but you get beauty, hair care, uh, skincare, makeup. It's a beauty box. Uh, and I will go ahead and leave my referral link and code down below if you are interested. Use that link. It gets me points. Um, so definitely do that. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle, and I would love it if you would subscribe. But let's go ahead and start with this month's theme, which is Be My Glamantine. And go ahead and just start with the first thing I applied on my face. Actually, you should probably do this at night, but this is the Teamy Blends Green Tea Detox Mask. This mineral-rich mask will be a must-have in your self-care routine. Made with organic matcha green tea, lemongrass, and bentonite clay, this natural detoxifying mask is formulated to rid pores of impurities while replenishing the skin with necessary superfood nutrients, and it retails for $29.99. I'm not personally a huge mask person. The mask, the last face mask I got in my BoxyCharm, I actually really did like. So this, I would say, compared to that, is definitely not as good. Uh, it does feel a little bit not so much for sensitive skin. I would say apply a very light layer because when it does dry down, it dries down hard. And it's just, it's a little bit thick, which is a good thing. My di skin did feel great afterwards. I really liked how it felt. Uh, but again, I think the mask, compared to the last mask I tried for, in my BoxyCharm, this was not as good, but I don't think it's bad. Again, I don't really know a whole lot about face masks, so my opinion might, I, I probably wouldn't take my word for it. Probably somebody who knows more than I do. After that, I got my a Bali Balm Pineapple Lip Scrub. I have gotten Bali Balm products in the past, and I love them, and this is definitely no exception to that. I do love it, but this rich, indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugar cane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead skin and cells, plus an ultra-smoothing blend of the finest botanicals. The super hydrating coconut oil and aromic, aromatic mix of cinnamon, orange, and vanilla essential oils will leave your lips soft and supple, and this retails for $23. And honestly, it smells amazing. Uh, it's definitely a thick sugar scrub lip mask, and I love it. Um, the last thing I got was their orange lip balm, and again, I absolutely loved this, and I think I'm gonna just, this is definitely something good and something I'm glad to have in my collection, and it just, it seriously smells amazing, and I am more sensitive to scents, so I really don't, when it comes to Scentsy products, I don't like them, but this is definitely one of the things that I do like. And plus, it, a lip scrub, it comes on and it comes off real quick, so it's not like I'm having it sit on my face or my skin all day. Next, I got the Wander Beauty Wondrous Escape Eyeshadow Palette. And this fe featuring hyaluronic acid to help skin retain moisture and rosehip seed oil to help smooth and dry skin. This palette includes a mix of neutral and bold colors with sim shimmer satin and matte finishes that are crease proof for all day wear and it retails for $42. Now I have to admit after trying this, I love it. I love the formula of the shimmers. I've had some problems with eyeshadow palettes in the past, especially from indie brands, but I don't think this, Wonder Beauty is not so much an indie brand anymore and I have to admit that I love it. The shimmers, honestly, they feel a lot like Natasha Denona shimmers to me. Maybe like a step down, but they still, they have that very creamy, very smooth formula. The mattes are beautiful. It blends out on the skin or on the eyes amazing. And if you even wanted to, you can use like this shade here as a blush or a couple shades here as a bronzer. If you really wanted to make this a face palette, I believe you could. I love how some of the shimmers have corresponding matte eyeshadows. Like these two shadows here correspond well with one another. Same with these two and these two. And then you've got the other kind of pops of color. Like you've got this one. And then this one, which is kind of like an oddball on the palette, but after playing around with the palette, it works. And then, of course, you've got the deepening shade here. So you can do a variety of looks with this palette. And again, it's just, it's so smooth. And honestly, I think I'm going to love this one in my collection. Yeah, did I tell you? It retails for $42. And then I've got the Ace Beauté Glow, e Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. This palette is all you need to get your glow on. Each shade is buildable and Easily glides on the skin, giving you a seamless glowing look, and it retails for $40. And I have to admit, I am loving 
the shimmers. I am loving these. You could totally use them all over the eyes. You can use them as a highlighter palette if you want. And honestly, I, if you wanted to go for a glowy cheek, I think you could totally use this shade here as like a blush topper or even your blush if you just wanted to an all over glow. So after playing with this, uh, I am loving this. And the last item in my pal or in my box is the is it the Elam? I cannot pronounce my words. Ilama Sequa. That is totally not right, but it's their Hydra Setting Spray. It's lightweight mist that locks in makeup for a flawless dewy finish. This non-sticky formula dries fast to set your makeup all day. Infused with P peptides, rich in amino acids, Hydra Setting Spray will leave the skin feeling refreshed and moisturized, and it retails for $26. Honestly, this kind of stinks. I can't really describe the smell of it, but it kind of stinks. I do like how it sits on the skin, but it... I mean, it's not like an un unbearable scent, but it definitely doesn't smell the greatest. But I do like the mister on it. I do like the finish on the skin, uh, at least from what I tried. And, you know, I, I don't mind this. I just wish it smelled a little better. Maybe like pineapple scent in the Bali Bomb scrub. <laughs> but I did like this, and that is everything I got in my box this month. I have to admit, this was a really good good box. Uh, there's nothing that I feel like is a huge miss for me. I mean, maybe this here, but other than that, it's it's a great box. And one of the things I've had with BoxyCharm is sometimes I feel like they'll throw in a skincare product to get the value of the box up. I believe when I added it up, uh, the box was about $160 for the value. So BoxyCharm did up the, their price by a couple of dollars, but they also upped the value of the box as of the start of the new year. So I think the box is around a hundred and or I this box I believe I calculated $160 but I'll go ahead and either leave the the value either on the screen or in the description box below um, but nothing I was thrown in there to up the price sometimes I feel like the boxes will they'll throw a skincare item in there and say it's like a $100 skincare item and I'm like and I just I feel like they're doing that just to get the promised value of the box whereas I would rather have something a little price a little bit lower that's something that I would actually like and use all the time even if it doesn't quite hit the value of the box because it's more about quality than quantity and I feel like the quality of all of these products were really good especially like the eyeshadow palette the glow palette and the Bali Balm um and I just, I like these. I am happy with this box. This box is definitely worth the price point, especially because they moved it up. I mean, for five products for $30, and that's after tax, I feel like it's a very good deal, even though just it's because of, from, I think the email said because of the economy, they just had to up the price a little bit. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but again, for five really good products for $30, I don't, see it really bad and even though that the mask and the spray were not my favorite there's still things I can work with still items that I can love um, and honestly I just don't wear masks that often I don't wear face masks I probably should because they feel great on my skin uh, as, and I noticed my skin probably needs it more now um, but again I'm loving this box and well I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one God bless and bye guys